Hey guys, in this video I want to go over how to multiply polynomials using area models, uh, specifically binomials here. And uh, so there are multiple methods in algebra for multiplying binomials, and one of them is using area models. Another probably more popular method is called the FOIL method, but that'll be saved for another video. Uh, today we're going to focus on area models. And just as a quick review, to find the area of a rectangle, it's always found by multiplying the length times the width, and that will give you your area. So you're going to be dealing with several problems, maybe in your textbooks or whatever, that ask for the express the area of express the area of the rectangle as this or that, right? Now you're not going to get a singular answer like 64 or 50, but you'll get it, and you'll express it as a polynomial. And once you combine like terms, it more often than not simplifies to a trinomial. But what we have here is an example of um, two binomials being multiplied. I'm gonna to try to show two examples. So what I will do is I'll begin by writing this first binomial, which by the way is a second degree binomial, by writing the first term right here, uh, 6x squared. And since it's a positive three, I'm gonna write a positive three right there. Along the left-hand side, I'm going to write the 4x squared right here and I'm gonna write the positive eight down here. Now, to find the area of this entire model, we're gonna find the area of each of its individual components. So what we'll do first is multiply four x squared by six x squared. And we'll do that by multiplying the coefficients first. Four times six is 24, and then x squared times x squared, x squared times x squared, uh, that's x times x times x times x. That means there are four x's or x to the fourth. So it would be 24x to the fourth. I could have done this if I remembered my properties of exponents just by adding the twos together. It'd be a lot quicker. So I'm actually going to erase this over here. And then uh, we're going to move on to another one. So let's do 4x squared multiplied by 3. Uh, this case would be 12x squared. And then down here we have 8 times 6x squared, which is 48x squared. And then finally, the little bottom corner over here, um, eight times three is 24. So now that we have found each of the components of this rectangle, it's time to put them all together to find the entire area. So I'm gonna write down the, the greatest degree term, uh, 24x to the fourth. The next one, which would be 48x squared. Uh, the next, plus 12x squared, and finally finishing with the constant term 24. Now we can combine like terms because these both have an x squared, on, x squared attached, so we are gonna simplify that and make this 60x squared plus 24, and the first term will remain 24x to the fourth plus this. So there you have it. Uh, that is how to write the answer of an area model Oops, I don't want that, I want it like this, so I can circle our final answer right here. Now it's written as a trinomial, meaning we have three terms. The greatest term is a four, so if we were being technical, this is a fourth degree trinomial, and it is found by using an area model method. Now, the if you notice the degrees here are two and two, um, this is a possible example you might encounter, but more frequently you're gonna see ones like this. Uh, this is going to be kind of like the next step getting into quadratics. So I'm going to show this final example here just to kind of see it done a second time. Uh, I'm going to write the 5x above this rectangle here. Uh, since the 4 is positive, I'll put it right here. and make Not because it's positive I'm putting it there, I'm just writing it to finish the binomial. Um, along the left-hand side, I'm going to write negative 3x. And then since this is minus 2, I'm going to write a negative 2 here. Now, just like the last problem, we're just going to find the area by multiplying the side lengths. Negative 3x times 5x is a negative 15, and since it's an x times an x, that would be x squared. Then we'll move on to negative 3x times 4. This would be negative 12x. Oh, I should change my color up. Let's go. Let's stick with uh, stick with red. So negative 12x, and then negative 2 times 5x in blue would be negative 10x, and then the final one in this little darker bluish is negative two times four, which would give us negative eight. Now, like I mentioned in the last example, we found each of the individual components of this, but now it's time to put them all together. So the first term would be negative 15 X squared. We're going to write negative 12 X. 
then negative 10x, and finally negative 8. And like the last problem, we do have some like terms that we can combine. These middle two x's would combine to negative 22x. The third constant term would be still remain minus 8, and the first term is negative 15x squared. So that's it. Um, I think that this is a really great strategy for those that of you that are visual learners. It's really nice to kind of see like where each of the numbers come from and when you put them all together, how these ones will combine or as long as they have common um, like terms. So I hope this video helps at least show you what an area model is and how to use one to find the area of when multiplying polynomials. So uh, best of luck to you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions.